Just talk us through um, where you where you are right now with your uh, perception. Oh no, perceive safe. Wait, people just jump around. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, let's make this a little bigger. Okay, so first we want to hear what these guys. Whoa. First we want to hear these guys will just give us a quick overview, and then we want to give them feedback. We want to give them quantitative feedback and also let me turn the lights down. And also a little bit, uh, you know, design feedback, kind of, kind of overall feedback of the aesthetics as well. So first, first content or first quantitative stuff, and then qual qualitative stuff. So you guys go for it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, if you read our title, I'm gonna push it right but be loud. Be loud. Be loud. <laughs> so uh, this is about the uh, where in the world is it safe to eat seafood, uh, based off of the 2010 and 2022 data. Uh, we visualized it as a line chart uh, to see the change over time and inserted uh, the years of each major disaster to kind of see what um, effect it had over the long term. Uh, these are in percentages, which we're having some difficulty showing, but, um, and like how to label it into a better one, kind of like her, but not super sure about. But qual quantitatively, that's what we're trying to show. Um, Good feedback or ideas for these guys. Take your time, take your time, don't jump on each other. We're perfect. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's, it's a lot to see at once. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the legend, like you said before, it's kind of taking a little bit of space. Um, and then it's kind of hard to accurately read. Because, like, if you look at the COVID-19 pandemic area, you don't see how the pandemic changes it. Yeah, so, so why did you get, why did you guys opt to not show the... Oh, yeah, there's a gap in the data. There's a gap. We don't have data for that. Yeah, we were unsure about what to do about that. Should we connect it or not? So I would kind of, But we do have data in there. It's just we're not sure how accurate it is, right? Yeah. We, we, we do have data. Any? Okay. No, I think we do. I think we do. Yeah. If you can put like a little footnote in there, okay. you're like, this data may be unreliable or something like that. Um, did we not? We did. We didn't collect any of that data in the last two years. So. There wasn't any on the spreadsheet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because there there was a, something to check off. Was like, do you want to connect the break in the data or not? So, okay. Okay. Yeah. If, if, so so okay. Uh, we'll maybe double I'm, check. Maybe yeah, I'm misremembering, we'll but if that's true, then I would probably yeah. sure. I guess I would I would leave it as a gap. So that's okay. okay. So we don't we don't know. We don't know then if people suddenly changed in the middle. Like here, we know what's going on, but here we don't know. So that yeah. that would be yeah, we'll check again. That would be appropriate right. then. Um, and then some parts of your little like explanation of the bars, I can't see. Maybe it's just me, and I need to go to an eye doctor. Um, but I can't. I can barely read it. Why? Yeah, oh, sorry. Okay. So sorry, Julia. You're, you're talking there. about these things. Oh, yeah, talking about the labels and stuff. Yeah. yeah. We were um, we were uncertain how to do that because uh, if you put it on the top, then they kind of stagger on top of each other, and then like you can move them, but then you have to have like a little line connecting where. So I, I think that's good. I think that's good. But I would just say, yeah. I would just say like, refugio spill, cool, right? Fukushima, you know. So so you do it, and then sure. in the legend oh, down below, you could maybe put the whole like this was in Japan, this was in whatever. So I think I think that would be um, a way to have it be bigger, Ooh, okay. bigger, and you guys can still read it. Okay. Cool. Um, Maybe in a different color. Can we do that in the um, in the the caption for the figure because like it's too much text to just yeah. So it, so it snaps the way right. So, so so one thing you guys can do is is you guys are editing everything in in your in your figure R or plotly or whatever, which is great. Um, you could also uh, do things like leave these numbers off and then insert those in the poster itself. Um, there, there's advantages and disadvantages doing both those, but that's always an option. So if it's a really complex thing you're trying to show here and you're, and you're not sure how to get your, your graphing tool to do that, you can always do it in the poster tool as a you know, um, cool. text editor kind of thing. Um, I would say, so I would try so this one's there's a lot of stuff, but I would I would take Norway. I would put Norway in text on here, in in whatever orange color that is, and yeah. not have this Santa Barbara, you know, Alaska. Yeah. Um, and I would pick an area where there's a lot of stuff and it's relatively. Yeah, it's so I would probably pick it like around this around this range, 
And then if there's something that's, that's, that's too hard to do it, I can put it over here or something. Cool. But I, I would start with trying to make that dude there. Sounds good. That makes sense. Yeah. Great. Um, other feedback for these guys? Okay, so what, so what's your what's your guys what are your, some of your takeaway bullets or conclusions you want people to take away from this figure? Um, we didn't really get to that yet, but um, yeah, uh, perceptions of seafood safety in Asian countries is lower than uh, those more local. Uh, and yeah, we we don't we're, we're hesitant to do like the COVID nineteen decrease like seafood safety just because of like the not reliability of the data so because like there's definitive decreases right here um, so I would also probably put for things like the refugio spill I would probably put it as a, like it, you know I, I would move it so right now you have it right at 2015 mm -hmm. right and I would maybe have it be a little bit um, so, 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 so normally you wouldn't have to worry about this, but because you guys are trying to visualize stuff, I would maybe have the same thing, but I would change this axis. So I wouldn't have this as 2014, which is being visualized as January of 2014. I would probably make it be 2014.9, or, or, or uh, that would make sense, with, with um, like 2014.8 or something like that. So that it shows up more, you know, in the fall, like when we did the surveys, mm -hmm. and then you can put this thing in the on the real. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. Because right, because right now it looks like 20, like the stress and the response was the same exact time. In reality, the stress was a little bit preceding the yeah. survey. Point. Yeah, we can change because I don't. I think it looks cleaner with the 2014, but we can change the exact position of this one. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, I leave the axis the same way. I'm just saying for yeah, the yeah. variable, yeah. make it so that the. Cool. The inflection yeah. point of the, or the, it's more accurate. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Other feedback for these guys? Okay. All right. Cool. Um, and I would also think about making the, the bars a bit thicker. Okay. So the blue, the blue or the orange, I would try. Okay. Uh, so it's a little that much easier to see the, the trend. Not like massively thick, but you know, maybe twice or so the, the thickness that it's there. Yeah, it's larger. Definitely larger font, absolutely. Almost everybody needs larger fonts, so yeah, totally. Um, and then, oh, okay, here's another one. So then this one, this is, um, it's perception of safety, but really it's safe, unsafe, right? That's what we're really showing. I'll put text like safe, or unsafe, unsafe. Or like an arrow going up safer, an arrow going down less safe. Or unsafe, or unsafer. <laughs> that's the word, unsafer. Um, but but right. So so that's going to be a real key thing, and and, and to, to so that when people are walking up, because again, you guys have stared at this forever, right? You guys have looked at this for months, or well, like over a month at least. Um, but the the random person walking by your poster isn't going to know this, and they're going to think this is some how many people this or that, right? like negative, like what? So it's it's perception of safety, but it's it's. It's um, relative perception of safety, right? Is it? You know what I'm saying? So, so, so they have to. So this will throw them the negative stuff. So help them through that. Okay, cool. What do you think about putting like the safe here and the unsafe here? And then, sure. Like, let's try that. Because like with the axes, the axis won't move. And the For a lot of these things, you guys, you got to try them. So I'd say sure. So, so if you're like, well, would it be better green? Oh, let's try it. Would it be better thicker? Would it be better if I did like? Don't know, like until you see it, it's hard to know. So, so make variant one, variant two, variant three, and let's take a look. Cool. We have another one, but okay, good. <laughs> How do I get your other one? That's good. Okay, this one. Oh. No, no, no. I think it's back one. It's back one. Yeah. Is that you guys? Is it the one that I made today? Yeah. I didn't get that. Though. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Cool. okay, fine. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, number next. Who's is this? Come on, Anna. All right, you guys, tell us about your figure. Um, so basically, this figure is based on like doing the safety data. So we wanted to like figure out. Um, how much like people are like worth buying into seafood before the pandemic, during the pandemic, and then after the pandemic. So we did 2019, which is prior, 
during and then of course after. So we just kind of wanted to see like if people like were you know in, in shutdown like during the pandemic if they were buying more seafood because they were just at home more often. So we just wanted to do that and then we added um, the error bars showing like the correlation between each of the set of years that we chose. Okay, feedback, ideas, thoughts. I'm guessing the 2021 data is the gap in data. Well, there's there's nothing there for that. Yeah, we, we, yeah there's nothing. So that's why it's kind of just this. So this is just our 2022 survey data, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because remember we asked before, early in the pandemic, and then now is why is why it's like that. Can we cut out 2018 altogether? Mm -hmm. I tried, and it won't. It, it's gonna give me decimals on Plotly. So there has to be like it has to be like that, unfortunately. There's no way to cut. There's it. there's no way to cut it all. Try. Yeah. But this this so so um so I mean I think that's that's fine. But um this is also might be a case of so this is this is good data, but maybe this isn't maybe we don't need a a bar chart for this. Maybe we can put this in a table format, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which might be more might be more effective. We have bigger because we we basically have six numbers here, right? We have purple number, purple number, purple number, and then error bar number, error bar number, error bar number. Mm -hmm. And so um, so that might be, it might be interesting to, to try this as, as a table and see if that communicates for. So what, what are you guys trying to take, what, what's the takeaway you want people to, to leave with this? When they look at this. Basically like seeing how the purchase of seafood has changed over time throughout the pandemic basically, prior to the pandemic as well. So it's decreased a bit, right? Mm -hmm. Not massive amount. Mm -hmm. And the frequency is this is this is how many days of the year they buy, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what this, this one is? Uh, or which, which one? This one? This yeah, or, or this is, yeah, yeah so remind me which, which question this one was from. Uh, uh, let's say, I'll forget the question. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know but, which question. So, so this, was, this was, but this was, uh, I'm trying to remember. So, so what does this frequency mean? So, so how many? Wasn't this one was like how many days of the year they buy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like one of those questions. questions. I think it's yeah. always. Sometimes I think it's only. I think it's yeah. only one. one. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Um, oh, so, oh, so, so this one is. Oh, okay. So, oh. Okay, because this one's purchases over time. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look. I'll flip it. Okay, okay. Um, good. Other thoughts? Other thoughts? Other ideas? Um, is finally kind of bumpy? I would say, like, public seafood purchases over time to spend. And I would watch your capitalization on your, like, access labels. Like, I would say frequency of capital seafood that you're buying or um, purchasing and spend. Yeah, so interesting. So, so I think the default is for us to always have, like when we label something like this, or, or the start of a bullet, have the first letter be a, a capital letter, and that's not wrong, technically speaking, but there's no reason why you have to do that, right? So, so when I make my figures, I typically have would have like frequency lowercase f of seafood buying lowercase, unless it was a proper name. Um, but uh, but you know it's it's a stylistic thing, but I d but the one thing that um, that Clara's comment does drive is we don't have much time right we're we're trying to this is people walking by in a meeting and we're and we're like look at this thing like check me out right and so maybe if it's the first five minutes and they're fresh and they're ah they're like ooh tell me about seafood but if it's you know an hour and ten minutes into it and they've been through fifteen other posters they come to yours. And if they've had a cerveza or two, they might be a little bit like, oh, geez, what's this, right? So we want to do everything we can to make the interpretation easier. We're not trying to hoodwink them. We're not trying to, you know, snow job them or anything like that. But, but so, so is, you know, public purchases of seafood over time, is that wrong? That's not wrong. You know, that, 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 that's, that's what this is showing. But better to put the takeaway in the title, right? Um, uh, purchasing of seafood has declined, you know, declined since COVID or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So by having that be the title, that helps orient people to what's going on. They can see the data to see if that's true or not themselves, 
and it just sort of reinforces stuff and it makes it that much that much a clearer message for folks in a noisy um, poster session room kind of thing. Cool? All right. You guys have another one or is that your guys' one? There's another one, but it's not like finished. Is it? It's like a, another one. You have to go to the left. Above. Oh, see, food is... Um, is it? No. No, I think no. it was the very last, last one. one. Oh, oh, last one. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one here? Yeah. I finished that one. Okay. And so, what are you guys trying to show us here? Basically, it's a proportion of like how many people said they never bought or they never asked about their seafood. Oh, source. Seafood source. Okay. Yeah. And then we were trying to add the arrow bar. Okay. Okay. Cool. So it looks like the people that are always, or most, I mean, we don't know the errors, so we can't really tell, but it looks generally not that different over time, but there's a big dip here, right? Which corresponds with what? The Refugio oil spill, right? So the proximate oil spill seems to have made people start to maybe ask a bit more, right? If they are, if they are purchasing seafood. So, okay, cool. And it, and it seems to have taken about, again, we don't know if the error bar is, but if we're assuming it's, it's roughly constant error, it seems to have taken about, so 15, 16, 17, about two, three years to get back to the, the same level of people not caring about where their seafood comes from. Okay, cool. All right, bueno. Cool. And the same thing with this, I would probably make the, the, the lines a bit thicker um, for this again. Okay, cool. Um, okay, who's next? Let's do, we did this one, right? So let's do the next one. Who's this? Brandon and Max? Yeah. Come on up. Wait, maybe I should just, hold on, maybe I should just, uh, just click on it. Oh, sure. Okay. So yeah, we took the, uh, the safe seafood um, ratings from all the high school, high school graduates, college graduates, and postgraduates, and just put into um, a plot to see who is like who thinks seafood is safer in, what, in all the different areas that um, we're asking. And the only pattern that we really see is that postgraduate students find seafood safer in all areas. Other than that, the high school and the Bachelors, like they both, they're kind of, they fluctuate a little bit. Like here, bachelors higher, here it's lower, for all the areas. So we're just trying to um, look at the, uh, yeah, just this is between uh, education level. So in general, it's like the hot, the more education, the more, um, the safer, you the, the more, uh, yeah, safe they think food is from any given region on average, um, with the exception of Orange County, maybe. And uh, probably just the Orange County area. Okay, cool. Good thoughts, feedback for these guys? Yeah, I just <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't want to put it like a 48 like it was going to match up those days. Maybe I should have. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. The only thing, yeah, the error bar is we couldn't really get. I think they're all, they all look the same, um, but the error bar that we got when we calculated it was very similar. It was like 4.6 for one and 4.3 on the other. And like, yeah, so close. So they're very close. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So it might also be worth doing one um, that would be uh, just like overall, just like on average, even, even, though, even though, for example, perception of Chinese seafood is low and perception of Alaskan safe, seafood safety is high, it might be interesting to just throw all the data together and just calculate what what do all high school people think of seafood, how safe it is, and what do so the error bars will be bigger, but be, but I suspect you'll see the same pattern, uh, which might be interesting. And this would be a case of why we need to start working together. So if we're going to include this, and again we don't have to include any of these figures, or we can include all of them. It's we're going to decide, but but um, so if we're starting to if we're starting to do this and we have the trend over time, and and, and Gulf of Mexico is orange or whatever, right? We should make, we should make the Gulf of Mexico label here orange. Mm -hmm. And if California is yellow, we should change that font color to yellow so that, so that you can jump between the different figures in the poster 
and visually understand that this dude is linked to that dude and this one is linked to that one, et cetera. So reinforce the, the connections between different parts of the post would be great. Cool, all right. Other feedback for these guys besides bigger fonts? And what is your title? Uh, so, okay, good. So with my comments before, what would be a better title for this one? Safer. Yes, or yes. Like that. Uh, higher educational attainment, greater trust, or something like that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would say doing the graph more vertical than vertical, because it's like everything gets stretched out and gets even yeah. smaller. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was just, I just threw it in really quick. I, yeah. It was small, so I just stretched yeah. it out, yeah. So you do more rectangles. Yeah. Um, and that'll yep. give your font at the bottom of your labels a little more room to breathe and you can um, So maybe, so maybe, I would definitely try it. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Um, it depends on how the real estate works in the poster, but yeah, having that option is a, is a good, is a good uh, alternative. Yeah. Cool, other feedback from you guys? Uh, I have a question. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, maybe just make the arrow line a little bit bigger. Does it have a thin um, bigger space in the mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit bigger too. The, the, uh, you, sorry, by bigger you mean not thicker? You mean uh, like wider. wider? Wider. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Nice. Right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Uh, okay. You guys, come on up. <laughs> some problems with our graph here, yeah. but um, we're trying to show how aware the public is about um, locations of plaster, and I think it's pretty clear that they, the public hears more about plastic being in coastal and marine areas than others. Um, we're going to get rid of our standard deviation bars um, and make our standard error bars go to the top and be like your guys, it's like the back and whisker. Um, and I think what we're also going to do is cut out these. <laughs> so one, three, five, and seven, as per Sean's recommendation. <laughs> so. Cool, cool. Um, and so, and then you guys are going to make the error bars the actual real That's error bars of the things. Yeah, uh -huh, yes, good. Yes. And, and what else? What, you guys, what, what's your feedback for these guys? Yeah, yeah this it's one just is covered by the first. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this is proportional awareness, not percentage. Maybe it's in the locations. Maybe can we use a different word? I don't know because we're going to figure one out because it's like deep and like it's not in like deep ocean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe just change the wording. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe like pretty much it. Yeah, no, that's good. So, so the, these were our sort of shorthands just for the for the data sheet, so that we're not yeah. having giant things. But definitely like mountain top or or mountain peak, um, beer, uh, deep sea, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff is. I, I think that those are good comments. And then the other one, which we, we talked about with our other groups, but maybe they're going to talk about this, is is let's have some logic here, right? So, so right now we're going from from most to least, which is which is the organizing principle. That's a fine thing to do. But let's see if we can have some additional um, help with interpretation on how we're labeling the axis, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe, um, and one thing that we were talking about is, you know, like like uh, coast and ocean and deep sea; those are all coastal marine. Maybe we make that, you know, or, or group them, or make the same color oh, of yeah. the font, maybe. Um, uh, you know, so, so stuff, stuff of that nature, um, or, or somehow you know, kind of again reinforce what the variables are, reinforce the connections between the text that we're going to write and the and the the thing here. Um, okay, cool, cool. Other feedback? All right, all right, great. Thanks, you guys. Is there another one? Or is that 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 that's right? That's yeah, that's right. Okay. Other one is okay, and then uh, which one? This one. Cool. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened here? 
watch out. Whoa. Okay, sorry. I'll make, it, I'll make it small as you can see it all, then we can zoom in if you want to. All right, go for it, you guys. Okay, so our, our graph is a bar chart comparing um, the same thing with like awareness of microplastics in different areas um, from 2019 and 2022. Um, so the main point that we see with this is from 2019 to 2022, it, 2022 um, the general awareness decreased in every area. Um, and in coastal zones, it really only decreased a little bit versus other things like animals. A lot of people were aware of microplastics in animals in 2019 mm -hmm. and not in 2022 for some reason. The turtles. It was a turtle video. Yeah, so maybe that could have been due to COVID and a lot of people were more stressed about COVID, learning about different um, stage protocols with COVID and no really <coughs> care about microplastics. I don't know, but um, yeah, that's what we're looking at. First things first, you might want to change the color of your bars because in my head I'm like, oh, it's about voting or something like that. Yeah. Um, it's really good in general. Right. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think we, so we um, grouped um, ours up kind of like he said, like we have water, ocean, coasts, and we go with inland animals, um, air, food, and beer. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we wanted to change our colors kind of based on those groupings. But I don't think any of us kind of knew how to go about that right now. Mm -hmm. So there was just like a bunch of different colors up there. Right. So that's what that's when we might be easier to um, sort of leave the leave the these off of the thing that we generate and then just right. add them in 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 PowerPoint. But one thing that's it's a, neat, a nice one that's an easy one to do is we can do something like a line. And then say like coastal, right? And you could say something like, uh, you know, terrestrial or something. And you could say something like, and maybe the air would also be terrestrial or something. And then you could say, you know, uh, you know, item based or something for these and kind of group them. So you can use those lines and and text also. Um, again, you can still use color. As well, but but, but that, that's a common way is for someone to put a, a, a bar underneath to, to link things together. I would I wouldn't take them out, but but okay. but just as a way to sort of yeah. show these dudes are linked kind right. of together. Um, cool. Other feedback for these guys? Okay, great. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. So let's now talk about. So that was everybody, right? Did I miss anybody? We got all everybody's figures. Okay. So then you guys have seen these, and uh, so next, I want you guys to think. We got to keep working on this, but I want you guys to think about um, uh, you know the next revisions, but also the takeaway. So everybody should have at least one clear takeaway from your figure. So when people see this, I want them to know blah blah blah. So if you've not figured that out with your group, you guys talk about that right now. And we'll come back in a couple minutes and talk about what you guys think your, your takeaways are. All right, good job, you guys.